Hello students, in the month of February you are going to give board exam and therefore you must have started preparing for board exam. I am going to give you some important tips for preparation of 12 standard physics which is considered to be the most important and most difficult subject as far as board exam is concerned and as far as the entrance exam is also concerned. If you haven't started your preparation, my first suggestion will be you must be having textbook with you. So go through the textbook thoroughly. Read the textbook thoroughly line by line, word by word. Remember line by line, word by word. Don't miss any single topic from the textbook because the paper setters who design the paper for board exam are very experienced. They exactly know which topics <coughs> the students uh, usually overlook or do not prepare and usually therefore one or two questions are every year set on such kind of topics. Even last year also uh, one question was asked on buckling of beam. The entire topic is thoroughly explained in the textbook along with the figure, uh, the formulae, etc. But the paper setter was knowing that most of the students are going to overlook this topic. So one numerical was asked on that topic and many students could not solve that numerical and they started saying that the uh, question paper was out of syllabus. So don't miss a single topic from the textbook even I would suggest again don't miss a single line or even a single word from the textbook. Then understand each and every concept thoroughly. You read the concept once, twice. If you are unable to understand that concept then ask your teacher, <coughs> ask your parents or uh, you go through the reference books. I am going to suggest you two reference books for physics. Uh, one is uh, by Halliday Resnick and the other is by H.C. Verma. So you go through the reference books or you may take help of the websites which provide online um, preparation guidance or uh, online uh, guidance for MCQs etc. You can ask difficulties to their teachers also. So likewise get the conceptual clarity of all the concepts or the entire syllabus. So don't miss any topic, don't keep any topic unexplained or ununderstood. After completing the theory or after preparing the theory, solve numericals. Solve as many numericals as possible. There is no uh, limit for it. Usually for lengthy topics like oscillations or stationary waves you are supposed to solve uh, many numericals but for uh, short topics like surface tension uh, even 8 or 10 numericals will be enough. So I will not suggest you any figure but you keep on solving the numericals till you get confidence that okay now I can solve any numerical on my own. Solving numericals is very important because when you solve many numericals on your own you get your set of mistakes. Remember everybody has his own set of mistakes and that person does those mistakes only repeatedly. So if I am doing mistake in division I am going to uh, do the mistakes only in division. I will be perfect in addition, subtraction, multiplication but every time whenever division will come I may uh, commit a mistake. So after solving many numericals you will uh, get your set of mistake that uh, a student may come to know that he or she is uh, missing the conversion of units. One may uh, come to know that he or she is not uh, uh, doing log calculations fast or properly or doing mistakes in that. So that point is very important. So solve as many numericals as possible. 
so uh, after completing the theory of every chapter you are supposed to solve as many numericals as possible while solving numericals don't use calculator try to use log table and while using log table also only use five first pages of the log table that is log anti log sine cosine and tan table in the board exam the hsc board is going to provide you the log tables and in those log tables only five pages will be there you will not get reciprocal table you will not get square table you will not get square root table so don't uh, cultivate habit of using such tables even though you want to uh, get reciprocal of a number you uh, get it by log table that is see the log of 1 subtract the log of the number in the denominator and see the anti log so don't use calculators and only first five pages of the log tables then after completing the preparation solve at least five question papers from the board exam uh, or from the uh, other colleges this is very important because when you are preparing uh, chapter wise after preparing one chapter you solve numericals on those chapter uh, and then obviously uh, you can master that chapter in uh, four or five days but when you are giving a full portion test the first question may be on chapter number six the second question may be on chapter number 18 the third question may be on chapter number one so you have to uh, switch your brain from chapter number six to chapter number 18 chapter number 18 to chapter number one and sometimes uh, that is difficult and that's why after preparation solving five question papers is very essential and when you will solve first question paper i would suggest that uh, solve it completely without any timing without any time limit uh, you will be getting three hours to solve 70 marks question paper and actual question paper will be around 105 marks so solve entire 105 marks question and don't put any time limit along with options solve it then get it checked by your teacher then your teacher will suggest you that okay this answer is enough this uh, question was asked for two marks and you have written uh, uh, too much lengthy answer or this question is asked for four marks but uh, you are missing one point etc so get it checked from your teacher and then solve remaining four question papers and those four question papers obviously you are supposed to solve uh, within the stipulated time i would suggest that your board exam will be uh, between 11 to 2 pm so solve these question papers in the same timing that is 11 am to 2 pm so that you will be able to understand uh, what happens during that time or uh, whether you feel sleepy etc so uh, solve those question papers in the stipulated time without option but uh, before solving the next question paper uh, get the previous question paper or previous answer paper checked by your teacher otherwise what will happen in first question paper if you are uh, doing one mistake you have committed one mistake if that is not corrected by your teacher you may repeat that uh, mistake in every question paper but if you get the first question paper checked by your teacher and if uh, the teacher points out that mistake you may avoid that mistake in the next question papers so before writing any or before solving any new question paper get the previous answer paper checked by your teacher and likewise solve minimum five question papers before the board exam in your college uh, you will be facing uh, prelim exams so that will be the sixth one and six question papers or solving six question papers will be enough because when you solve six question papers most of the theory questions uh, you will be solving so in the board exam or in the board question paper you will not find any question new you will uh, say in mind that okay i have solved this uh, question in the third paper or i have solved this question in the fifth paper and so on so likewise you are supposed to 
prepare for board 12 standard physics uh, other than that there can be some questions which will not be covered in the question paper especially two marks question this year this is going to be the crucial point because uh, in the question paper uh, eight questions will be asked for two marks and you will be asked to solve six of them so two marks questions are going to carry very large importance and uh, throughout the syllabus you may see a lot of scope is there for asking such kind of two marks question so even after solving six question papers you may go through the textbook again and find out uh, such kind of two marks questions which are not yet asked in any of the question papers so prepare them separately so likewise you are understanding the syllabus you are uh, solving numericals and getting confidence of solving the numericals you are solving the question papers and getting confidence that you will be able to solve the question paper uh, in time with uh, all the options and etc so that confidence will give you the success all the best to all of you for your preparation thank you